In today's video, we find out which new Yu-Gi-Oh set is better, Photon Hypernova or Maze of Memories. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh opening and today we have more Maze of Memories along with a Photon Hypernova booster box. This is the core set, the previous core set, and then the new Maze of Memories set. So we've got a little 1v1 battle going on here and I want you guys to tell me in the comments which of these two will perform better in this video. We're gonna have totals up on the screen as we've done many times on this channel. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Rage of Raw first edition booster box. You can pull the Ghost Rare, Wing Dragon of Raw, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know which will win maze or photon hypernova let's get into it all right let's open these boxes up inside there are some nice potential cards in both sets you guys just saw me open maze yesterday you've seen a lot of photon hypernova i've had crazy luck with photon hypernova so i'm hoping that continues maze and memories pretty similar pretty similar insane luck yesterday it was pretty awesome if you guys missed that one yesterday go check it out it'll be popping up on the screen but it was a wild opening and Hopefully this one continues that and we have amazing pulls. All right, let's get into this opening. Let's see which will win. Will it be Maze of Memories with some of the coolest looking pack artwork? I mean, it looks really, really awesome. Very unique. I, I did a Ruxin special almost every time I opened this yesterday, so I'm gonna try not to do that today, but no promises. You guys know me, Forton Orbital. We have Overlay Network. That is a super rare right off the bat. I took all these out and mixed them up a little bit. Let's see what we will pull. I mean, we had some amazing luck when we opened Photon Hypernova. Let's see if we can do that today. Mini Aruka, we have Galaxy Summoner, the Tenchi, Chaos Beast, Dinah, Bistio Baldrick, and Abyss Actor, Super Producer. So, wait. That's a super rare. Apophis, okay. Uh, they're really back into those trap monsters. There's another one right there. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's see. I cannot open these packs. I'm struggling today. I literally cannot get past that. Okay, one, two. Let's keep it up. Let's, let's get something good. Royal Decree. We have Treacherous Trap Hole. Ooh, almost Rux and Special. It's super Ancient Deep Sea King Cobalcanth. Very nice. Super rare there. Photon Hypernova, you will bless us with something amazing. No, I'm not asking. I'm telling you that you will. Will it be Kashtira cards, which everybody loves to play against right now? I know it's a very fun deck. No, I'm just kidding. People do not really like it very much. It's a, a topic of discourse in the community of Yu-Gi-Oh! Blood Patrol Ship. Very nice. But they are quite expensive. So they're great for us if we pull them. That would be great. And uh, yeah, we've been uh, we play a little Master Duel, so I've been playing a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh recently in terms of the Master Duel side, so you can go see that on my Twitch channel, Ruxin34, twitch.tv slash Ruxin34, if you guys want to see that. been playing a lot. It's been fun, so uh, I've enjoyed it. Hopefully that will maybe bleed over to the TCG at some point. We'll play a little of that. Circle of the Fairies, Bioinsect, Abyss Script, we got Gishki, Kashtira, we have Galaxy 100, and the Ultra Rare, Beargram, Shelled Emperor of the Forest Crown. I don't think that is a great Ultra Rare, but it is an Ultra Rare. All right, Maze up next, Maze of the Mims. Two boxes being opened today. Will either of them have an amazing pull, or both? Could be could be both, like yesterday. Gay Guardian, Imperial Iron Wall, Shadow Ghoul, ooh, we might have gotten something. Labyrinth, and a wind-up kitten. This is one that got a collector rare as well, which is pretty weird. Wind up kitten getting a collector rare, but hey, ultra rare will take it. Nice pull. Not exactly sure why that got a collector rare. Pretty, pretty interesting choice, but there's always some bad collector rares in there. So that you could argue maybe it's not a bad one, but that's a trice. Shell of Chaos. Let's see what we can get. Photon Emperor, Jahan, Galaxy 100, Gold Pride, Captain Cares. We've got ourselves a Gold Pride card. Ultra rare. Good to see that. Gage played those at Vegas while I was there, so that was pretty fun. Let's see what we can get. Nimble Anglo. Let's go. Saga. We have no Collector Rare yet. Collector Rare or Starlight. Will it happen? Solemn Judgment. That's a good pull. Can't complain about that. I mean, reprint, Solemn Judgment. Metal Raiders, my favorite set. You love to see it. All right, let's see. Four from the back. Infinite. We have Fierce Tiger. We we have Ice Jade, Sari, the Abyss Script. We have Cash Terra Overlap, Abyss Actor Super Producer, Evil Eyes Unleashed, and a Quardon, the Clear Sight. His sight is clear, unlike me. I wish I had Clear Sight, but unfortunately, contacts it is. We, it's the only way we can do that. All right. Riga Petal, we have Performer Pal Duelist, Sui Jin, Ryoku. Ooh, we got some. Oh, it runs his special still. No, Rika Glamour, ultra rare. A second ultra, not bad. There's usually three per box. We got one more, maybe a collector rare. Let's go. Get us some cash tier of cards. Let's get us some big value. Let's get a starlight. I'm down for that. Tier, tier limits. Scareclaw, Vela, Numeron, Dynamondo, the Jiho, Shell of Chaos, and a Chaos Mirage Dragon. Chaos card. Can't complain. Love Chaos. It's good stuff. Two from the back. We have a Deep Dark Trap Hole, Magnite Red Moon, 
Photon Orbital Rux and Special Right to the Spellbook of Fate. But hey, cool card. There's the uh, Simo card that Kalut made it in here. We have the Sari, Abyss Actor Liberty, Tier Laments, Scareclaw Defanging, Land Flipping, Branded Befallen, Scareclaw Cash Tier as a common. We got a super rare right after that for some reason. Galactic Kribo, another super rare Karibo card. You love to see those. I mean, does anyone ever play them though? I really don't know. I've never seen someone use any Karibo in a very long time. I mean, I mean the, the Wing Karibo is decent, you know. You can special summon it. You could ooh, Avermax. That's a nice super rare. Special summon it and like no damage to your field if you're doing like a burn deck or a stall deck or something. That was fun, like dual links and stuff, but maybe even master duel. But in reality, that's and there's not a lot of good ones. Manicore Smashing, we have a Ruxin Special Photon Time Stop, Bio Insect, Numeron Creation, Giant Ball Game, the Diablo, Diablo la, 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 and the Bistio Ball Drake, and Sneaky C, he's sneaking around, he's a C. Sneaky C, okay, Max C, I mean, hey, close enough, close enough, and no, I'm just getting Royal Degree, we have Labyrinth Wall Shadow, cool to see that. Uh, ooh, okay, Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder, so I actually get to keep these cards this time, so I'm going to be pulling out all those, those Gate Guardian cards, and so far that's like our first one. Yesterday we were pulling them left and right, so... I guess I'll have to open more of this, which of course I will be. And they're the super rares, which I normally don't even keep. So should be pretty easy to uh, to put together or whatever. But this actor, Ixies Align, Dynamondo, Chaos Beast, of Core of Chaos, and Dimensional Allotrope of Varus. Next up, Maze of Memories. It's a maze. It's full of memories. It's a maze. Oh, and probably shouldn't. Okay. Well, I shouldn't go there, but a maze. Get it? A maze. Pray of Juragumo. And on your mark, it said duel. Another super. Cool stuff. Now back to the Hypernova of Photon. Will it have a Starlight Rare inside this box? Couple of aces. Mental Tuner. The Yvala. Infinite Antilion. The Evil Eye Unleashed. Numeron Creation. Gishki Grimness. Gigantic Thundercross. And a Gold Pride Star Leon. This is not a good box. We're pulling all the Gold Pride stuff. Which, look, Gold Pride, cool stuff, but... Not in terms of value, not great right now, but hey, hey, we'll take it. At least we're getting all the same stuff, I guess. We got Zephyros, No Mind Glow, let's go Maze. No, the first big Ruxin special of the day. We got another Gate Guardian. Is that the one we already got? We got a smaller one. I don't remember if it was that one or not, but hopefully not. Hopefully it wasn't the one we already got. One, two, three, four, Photon, Hypernova. It was good to us before. Will it continue? Gishki, Focused Aquamere, Meteor Rush. We have Brandon Befallen, Land Flipping. We have Intimidating Or. <gasps> Triple Tactics Thrust, and that is one of the biggest pulls of the video. It's the biggest pull, let's be honest. This is a really strong card. Big value. Last I checked, like 70 bucks, but it's been a while, so we'll see what it's at. You guys can see the total like score here right now, but I think Photon Hibernova took a big lead. It's going to be tough for Maze to come back from that one, but if we could pull an Epic Collector Rare, I don't know what the Gate Guardian goes for, but should be pretty decent. I'm, I'm guessing it's not as much as the Thrust, though, I'm going to be honest. Super Soldier Ritual, Sui Jin. Spellbook of Fate, another super rare for the spellbooks. Anybody playing spellbooks these days? Judgment's back, right? So, heard it wasn't that great though anymore. It used to be like broken and now it's not as good. So, kind of sad, but also not that sad because I heard it wasn't a fun card. A couple of aces. I never actually played it, as you guys can tell, because I'm saying I heard Diablo Lantis, the Core of Chaos, and Dogmatica Matrix. So, Triple Tactics Thrust, that's a pretty nice card. That's kind of changed everything here. Let's see if Maze can make a comeback. Maze, you need to pull something big. Sangha, Magnite Blue Sky, Time to Stand Up, Red Eye Soul, Burial from a Different Dimension, we have an Angel Blue Tears, and a Photon Orbital Collector Rare! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Another Collector Rare from these boxes! Wow, that is insane! Fovodon Orbital, a kind of a weird one. I mean, I guess, but it's a collector rare, so I can't complain, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, Maze is at pre-release still for one more day by the time you guys see this, so that Fovodon Orbital might have a little bit more juice to it than it probably should in terms of the value. So maybe that does bring them back. Interesting. This actor, we have a giant ball game. This Joe Ball Drake, we have a Light of the Branded. Dogmatic Alba Zoa, very cool, super rare. All right, Maze, you're up next. Go. Collector rare, that's pretty nice. We'll take that Photon Orbital, that's pretty big. Can we get another one? Can we get the Gate Guardian? Mech Knight, Yellow Star, Overload, Super, De super Ancient Deep Sea, I can't say, it's too much, too long, too much of a tongue twister. I give up, one, two, three, four. Collector Rare has already been pulled, let's pull a Starlight Rare. We've pulled an Ultra Rare, we pulled a Secret Rare, we pulled a Collector Rare, and now we just need a Starlight Rare. I'm super rare, obviously, common. Rare, 
We got the Yagamora and the, oh, another secret rare, Gravekeeper's Inscription. I was trashing that one a little bit the first time. I was like, ah, Gravekeeper's probably not any good. People were like, this card's almost broken. And I was like, almost broken, huh? Interesting. Not broken, but almost broken. Okay. Next one, Blackwing Zephro, Soul the Supreme King. Oh, he runs it special to the side beast. I messed it up. It's been a while. I've been doing okay. A lot better than yesterday. Let's just, let's be honest. I've been doing better than yesterday, guys. Okay, let me know. Have I been doing better? I feel like I have, because yesterday was like almost every pack. Starlight Rare, here we go. Galaxy Summoner, Sour Scheduling, Abyss Actor, Tinchi, Abyss Script, Land Flipping, we got Photon Emperor, Gigantic Thundercross, Gold Pride Nitro Blast. Go with our Gold Pride cards, we'll take it. Okay, we're getting down to definitely over halfway through, probably about two thirds of the way through these packs. What will we get? Battle Royale Mode, that's a little Fortnite card. Gay Guardian, and the Aslalseal, man. Too many cards that make me almost say that, which I didn't say, just, just for the record. Just like Ash Blossom the other day, you guys saw it. Infinite Antlion, I did not say that. We have Ice Jade, we have Manifestation, Photon Emperor, Intimidating Ore, Meteor Rush, Gold Pride Nitro Blast. The Gold Prides are really showing up for this box, that is for sure. Okay, Maze of Memories. Uh, that one ripped weird. Maybe that means there's another Collector Rare inside. You have to believe, we have Royal Decree. Forge a new future, Photon Orbital, oh, Rux and Special, Mech Knight, Gate Guardian combined, good to see that, that's sick, the Gate Guardian, the big one, that's awesome, I need that, it's the first one I pulled, want to pull as many of those Gate Guardians as possible, well, at least until I have the deck, then we could stop pulling them, I guess, we have Circle of the Fates, Chaos Phantom, come on, let's get a Starlight Rare, let's do it, Photon Time Shop, Gishki Grimness, Galaxy 100, Brandon Befallen, the Scareclaw Castera, and showed you of the Trillion Hands. A Trillion Hands reprint? I never even realized this was a thing. You get to add a Ritual Monster and a Ritual Spell, bro. Rituals are popping off now. I feel like Choju might actually be a card to keep for the future because Manju's always did really well. It might have been because of older formats and stuff, but like, if you're going to play a Ritual deck, something that lets you get both, like in one summon, it's pretty good. We got Thunder and Wind. I don't think I have that one yet. Maybe you have one. I'm not sure. I don't know really how many of each you would play. Maybe two. And then one of the... You know, probably not three of the big one, honestly. That would be way too much and too much of a commitment. All right, Mental Tuner. Couple of aces for that cup of aces. Yeah, let's go. Lie to the Branded. Scareclaw Kashtira. Yagamaru. Eye of the Unleashed. Gold Pride Star Joranger! 12 packs left total. So we're about a qu three quarters of the way through. Will we get another collector rare? Let's make it happen. I've never actually pulled a double collector rare box except that one where we knew it was gonna happen. Thunder Wind again, I said I didn't have one. Now I have two, but there was one where we opened like tons of collector rares. It was like four or something like that for somebody else. That was pretty fun. But other than that, I have not done it for myself. Gishki, hey, Gishki's are in here. So I guess if you're gonna search for those uh, rituals, that's one. Gigantic and ooh, the Grand Gunol, the Dusk Dragon. It's a cool ultra rare. I really like the art of that guy he's a nice starlight rare as well Whew, 10 packs left a lot of potential here in this battle I, I don't know what the score is but you guys will see it on the screen right now it's probably pretty close actually double attack oh we got something else labyrinth wall we gotta wake up your elemental hero <sighs> but not your forbidden elemental hero unfortunately we will not be waking up the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card it, it gives you hope it's like oh wake him up maybe maybe it's time to bring him back but no it's not time, apparently. Scareclaw, Kashtira. Here we go. Befallen, land flipping. Let's go. Intimidating Ore. And we've got an Ivigishki at Neramanes. So here's your rituals you're looking for, I guess, if you're looking for them. Eight more packs. It's coming down to the very end. What will this battle end up like? Nimble Angler, Rika Petal, Overload Fusion. We have a Red Eye Soul and a Solemn Judgment. That, I mean, that might add value. I don't know. In the pre-sale, these might actually be money because, you know, it's a day away from the uh, the public opening for people to sell. So, yeah, some of those are going to be a little bit over overrated, overranked. But the Triple Tactics Thrust might be enough to actually carry them past that, you know, that advantage. The Intimidating Ore and a Gold Pride Star Joranger! Six packs left, Maze of Memories. Let's go. Come on, Soul, Sangha. Oh, huge Rux is special. We have not pulled this Wind and Water yet, though, so I need that. That's pretty cool. Five packs left total. Two of each, one, well, one, three here, because we're gonna, I, I can't speak, I'm struggling. Let's just pull a Starlight Rare to make up for it. <laughs> just just to make up for my, my fumbling, we'll pull a Starlight Rare. How about that, guys? You guys agree? Yeah, let's make it happen. Eva Gishki or Evil Eyes, Chaos Witch. Okay, nothing too crazy there, just regular little super. Okay, Photon Hypernova. I think it's pretty close. I think after release, Photon Hypernova would be winning, but they may or may not even be doing that now. We'll have to see what the pre-sale prices are. Uh, Talio, XC's a line, Giant Ball Game, Shell of Chaos. We've got a draw with the gravity. 
And a Grin Ninja. Not a Gran, a Grin Ninja. It's a Green Ninja. But I said it differently for some reason. Here we go, Maze of Memories. Second to last pack. Will we pull a Collector Rare yet again? Ryoku, ooh, Rux and Special, time to stand up. And a number 39, Utopia Rising, super rare. Down to the final Photon Hypernova pack. Will we pull a Starlight? We will make it. We will try to make it happen. Chaos Phantasm, Focused Aqua Mirror. Gigantic Thundercross, Photon Emperor, Castera Overlap. Biz Actor Super Producer. And a Fairy Ant, the Circular Sorcerer. All right, it's an ant. That's a sorcerer. Okay, weird. And the final pack of this video, will we be able to take the lead? If it is behind, it may already be ahead. Let's go, Maze of Memories. Will we pull something amazing? Mech Knight, Blue Sky, Sui Jin. We have a Gay Guardian and a Labyrinth Emmy Tank. Cool, super rare to end it. Retrain of the old school stuff, double attack, wind and thunder. Cool stuff, but not a collector rare. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.